Let's go, guys. Happy Sunday. And it is time for a Sunday Savers. This one's going to be on the Captain's event. And the opportunity to help yourself out with Team of the Year through this Captain's event, if you don't like the MSPs, do the objectives, guys. Do all the objectives because you can really benefit off of it. Let's talk about how. If you are new here and you don't want to miss anything in the future, hit that sub button notification bell down below, guys, so you don't. If you do like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And also, throw in a comment section if you are going to be doing this with your captain's collectibles and captain's cards to get yourself better collectibles at Team of the Year time. Let's get into it. I hope you do enjoy it. First thing we're going to get down to it, you could build 585s out of week one, and you could build one and a half 85s out of week two. So when week three rolls around, let's just assume you're going to be able to build another two and a half, add it to the one and a half, so you'll be able to build nine. That is nine 85s. We're just going to assume on week three. Assuming is always bad, but we're just going to go with it. You can build nine 85s. When it came to team of the year last year, guys, 85s were two for one collectible. And when you go to the captain set, you have to turn in six 85s for 188. Now that six 85s, if it's two for one, you could make three collectibles out of those 85s. Now, if you get an 88, 88s last year went for two collectibles. So the best thing to do if you don't like the MSPs is to not build them. The best thing you could do is hold back, keep the 85s, build as many 85s as you can possibly build, and earn as many 85s as you can possibly earn. Now, remember, if you go over to Hot Rush, you can get collectibles and lower cards, 82s, over there to help you build more 85s. Because if you see here, take 10 82s to 84s from the captain's event, you can make yourself an 85. Now, the 84 Morgan Frost, I know you got in a free Christmas pack, but I would not trade that in to get yourself an 85. I think it was three 84s for one collectible last year for Team of the Year and two 85s for one collectible. So it wouldn't be worth turning in an 84 to, to help make yourself an 85. So only 82s, which you can earn a lot of them, just by doing objectives and hot rush. And then also you might be able to find them cheap on the market. Because you can find them on the market for cheap. 82s go for cheap. We just have to wait for the maybe the event to kind of start dying down a little bit. Or people start ripping them or anything like that. Like if you can get these cards for 1,000. That's 10,000 for 185. That's cheap. Where you could go hold on to that 85 and use it for team of the year. Because team of the year guys is coming. And sets like this is a great way to prepare yourself. Because like I just said, if you build 88s, like if you build this Jerome Aginla, he's going to get you two collectibles. But yet these 85s that you turn in could get you three collectibles. And if you do that enough times, that could, that adds up significantly, right? So just so when you're thinking about gearing up and getting ready for team of the year, keep this in mind. Because that's a very good way of making yourself a couple extra collectibles if you're not interested in the event. Now remember, you can build one and a half 85s out of just doing the objectives. But you got all this stuff as well, right? Where you got one player, mini packs, two players, an 82 that can go in the 82 set, XP collectibles, bronze collectibles, captain collectibles, base packs, more captain collectibles. Actually, there's a significant amount of captain collectibles in here, as you see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can get seven captains collectibles plus the packs, plus the gold players. Plus 84s and 82s. Now remember, I did say don't turn in the 84s. Even though they're there, don't turn them in because they're not valuable when you can hold them for 84s and just trade them in then and get collectibles that way. The 82s though, trade them in if you can get yourself 10 of them and make yourself an 85 because that'll be a bonus one to add to your team of the year. So do not forget about Hot Rush, guys. And then also, they add the moments. One captain collectible for getting a shutout. This is uh, pro player lock, yes, and it's the entire game. It's only one minute period, so three minute game. But you know, shutout could be could be interesting. But you get fifteen hundred coins and a collectible. You get a collectible, two gold players, and a thousand coins for doing the Roman Yossi moment, which is score a goal, take five shots, and get two hits. Ron Francis difficulty pro. You're locked in at center, score a goal, get two stick lifts, and win a face off. That gets you a collectible, two gold players, and a thousand coins. And then on semi pro with Steve Eiserman, get a goal, three slap shots. And get three sh and get two shoulder checks for a collectible and uh, two gold players and a thousand coins. So they give you a lot of collectibles, guys, to use to get 85s. But like I said, if you're not into the event and you don't like the captains, hold those 85s because they're more valuable than the 88s when it comes around to team of the year time. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Sunday Savers. I hope you do enjoy it. And I really hope that this makes you think about what you want to do. Like, if you didn't like the captain's event, because I know there's a lot of people out there that weren't liking it and they think they're just going to skip over it. Attack it this way, guys. 
get after it, use these captain's collectibles to your advantage by getting 85s, and then just hold the 85s and turn them in for your uh, Team of the Year collectibles to help you get a Team of the Year. Because we got a three-week event here, and this three-week event could probably get you 10, could probably get you 12 85s if you do absolutely everything the event offers for all three weeks, and that gets you, if it's the same pace as last year, six Team of the Year collectibles for free just based on playing the game. So that's something to keep your eye out for, guys. That's something to focus on and put your time towards if you're putting your time towards this game. If you're putting your time towards anything, there's something. Team of the Year is a big part of this game, and there's something to help. Thank you guys for watching the video. Till next time, ciao, ciao. Okay, guys, and here we go. This is the first advent calendar of week two after the exclusive player pack, and what we're getting is silver. Okay, silver. Five, five items in this pack. That's a step up from what we did yet, so, you know, you can't hate that. Silver player, silver player, gold player, gold player, and silver player. Five player pack, no NHLers, but a couple of golds. Actually, that's a bronze. My bad. The <laughs> one gold, three silvers, one bronze. Let's see what we get in the second pack. And here we go, the second account, advent calendar. Five items, are we gonna do better than the last one? We got a celebration, silver, silver, uh-oh. No gold one in this one. You get a 65% chance of getting a gold player. And unfortunately, it didn't hit this time. But, you know, we got one gold player, one bronze, six silver players, a couple uh, couple customization and jerseys. Not bad. Remember, save your customizations and save your jerseys for the XP on Tuesday. We do not know what it's going to be.